So I'm Shaylin Bernhardt. I'm the Communications and Engagement Manager for the Clean Energy Resource Teams. Um, and you may have heard of our Inflation Reduction Act Ambassador Program that we've been running for a while, and we decided to change it. Um, and we recently launched this new program called Community Energy Ambassadors. Um, it's a way we really want Minnesotans to better understand clean energy topics and incentives, not just the IRA. And um, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of the program, but first I wanna share a little bit about how we got to now. So back in November of 2022, we rolled out our guide to the Inflation Reduction Act a few months after the bill passed. And this is still here, it's still on our website. Pete shared a URL to it on his slides and I've got, there's a big old QR code over there if you wanna get to it. Um, so we wanted our guide to help people understand the bill and how they could access the clean energy incentives like tax credits and rebates that Pete shared. Um, and we started giving presentations, mostly Pete, <laughs> about the Inflation Reduction Act to different cities and organizations across Minnesota. And eventually the requests for presentations were coming in faster than we could manage and Pete. <laughs> um, that's when the idea for a community ambassador program started to form. We knew we needed to reach as many people as possible across Minnesota so that everyone could take advantage of these new ways to pay for their clean energy upgrades and projects, but we couldn't do it alone. So we recorded our Inflation Reduction Act presentations, we created slideshows and handouts so anyone could access the information we were learning. We kicked off the Inflation Reduction Act Ambassadors Program on May 10th, 2023. <laughs> it was a little baby. Um, with an announcement in our Minnesota Energy Stories newsletter, and 50 people signed up in the first few weeks. We gave the Inflation Reduction Act ambassadors access to an online toolkit with all the resources and tools we created and all the updates that we were gathering so that they could learn from it for themselves and then also share it with their networks. And the whole point of this was we know the most effective outreach and engagement comes from trusted members within a community. And so when neighbors and friends share information, it sticks with people more than when an outsider like Pete comes in with new information, even though he's really good at it. And he always has lots of jokes, which helps, right? <laughs> so we began sending newsletters to the ambassadors. Every time we learned about an important update from the IRA, we ended up holding a, our first public webinar in July last year with over 170 people showing, share, showing up to learn more. And before the end of 2023, we had over 800 unique individuals signed up for our Inflation Reduction Act Ambassadors Program. But we realized the need to expand the program beyond the Inflation Reduction Act. Over a year after the bill had passed, the name Inflation Reduction Act was still relatively unknown to most Americans. We wanted to make sure that we could share a full range of clean energy ideas and resources so communities would understand all the possible ways they could save energy and all the resources available to pay for their project, not just those from the IRA. So introducing the Community Energy Ambassadors Program. Bum, bum, bum. Um, so community energy ambassadors support clean energy projects within their communities. If you choose to get involved, you'll gain access to knowledge and skills needed to help others participate meaningfully in the clean energy transition. And CERTS will support you along the way. Yay. Uh, we have a goal of training ambassadors in every one of the 87 counties across Minnesota before the end of 2024. As a community energy ambassador, you will support communities in their efforts to start clean energy projects with relevant resources and connections. As community members engage in dis energy decision-making, their voices will be well-informed and centered in their community's priorities. As community energy ambassadors collaborate and network across Minnesota, sharing challenges and solutions, we hope that clean energy efforts across the state will become more rooted in community needs and aspirations with relevant and evolving creative strategies. And so this is how it works. There are two paths to becoming a community energy ambassador, a cohort guided training and a self-directed training option. Cohorts will train virtually and in person in order to engage groups from across the state and foster community amongst them. 
groups within a cohort will focus on their community's needs, learning more about the clean energy topics and skills that will best serve their community. The cohort members will showcase what they're learning through projects and help to further develop the ambassador program, as well as the materials available to everyone. Our first cohort will consist of community-based organizations that will be funded to support their work, and we'll announce those members later this summer. We see this model as something that could work for different organizations and communities that share a common goal or need or value. And future cohorts could consist of groups seeking to learn from each other as they support community-led clean energy efforts within their communities and networks. We want all community energy ambassadors to have an understanding of many different topics within energy efficiency and renewable energy. You don't have to be an expert. You just need to be curious and open to learning. We learned from the Inflation Reduction Act ambassador group that some people want to go their own course, learning at their own pace, while others are looking for more direction. And so ambassadors on the self-directed training path will complete a series of brief webinars and recordings about different aspects of clean energy, for example, home energy efficiency, heat pumps, solar energy, and more. Anyone can join this training path at any time, and there's no pressure to complete the series. Several trainings are already scheduled to begin this June. So if you go to the QR code on this slide, it'll take you right to that page. Um, it's also under the page that has the blue, look for the blue, the blue badge. Um, and the record the webinars will be scheduled and shared on our website. So if you can't make the recorded or the scheduled time, you can watch them at any time. Those who complete the self-directed training series and wish to become certified community energy ambassadors, yep, <laughs> we had to stick certs in there somewhere, um, will propose a, clean, a project idea that will allow them to dive deeper into a clean energy topic and a strategy for engaging their community. And we hope to share these projects publicly so that others can learn from ambassadors just as they are learning from the resources and tools that we're providing. And we'll share more about the possible project ideas that people can pursue this summer. Um, we're just still kind of shaking things out. Upon completion of the project, certified community energy ambassadors will be ready for engagement, education, and outreach opportunities within different communities across Minnesota, kind of like a light version of what our regional coordinators currently do within their regions and topic areas. Um, we already, if you visit our website, you'll see that we provide community energy ambassadors with resources and tools that will help communities understand how clean energy can be a solution to the challenges they face. These are really similar to the recordings that we did for the Inflation Reduction Act, but they're expanded beyond just those federal um, and incentives. And there's some new fun stuff too. Um, from handouts to videos, we'll work with or we work with clean energy experts and um, provide accurate and relevant resources for you to learn from and share. And you don't have to be a certified community energy ambassador to access these tools. They're available for everyone. Um, we'll be tracking how these tools are used and who ambassadors are engaging with so we can continue to provide relevant materials, the right translations. We're working with a group right now to get a lot of this stuff translated into different languages and then just English and reach communities across Minnesota. We also want community energy ambassadors connect with each other and we wanna foster those relationships. We have events planned across the state to explain the program and offer networking opportunities and we'll continue to gather community energy ambassadors throughout the year throughout Minnesota. We'll also continue to offer these informal Q and A's. Um, it won't always be me and Pete. I know it's really sad, but you know, there'll be other friendly faces, like maybe, maybe we'll do one. <laughs> um, and just to keep these open so that you can ask questions of us at any time about the program or about questions you're receiving from your community, all the events and webinars will be listed on our events calendar on the CERTS website, as well as the Community Energy Ambassadors webpage, also on the CERT site. And so that's where we're at. Um, Sign up for the Community Energy Ambassador announcements on our website. If you previously signed up for the Inflation Reduction Act Ambassadors newsletter, you're already set. Um, you can look forward to more networking opportunities within each region of the state throughout the summer and fall. 
We'll also continue to provide updates on clean energy incentives like rebates as we learn about them. We'll introduce our first cohort group. Um, there will be more self-directed training webinars offered throughout the summer on different clean energy topics by our, our staff and also our partners. Um, we're rolling out a way for ambassadors to track their training progress through an automated tool. It's going to be really cool, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and project guidelines will be shared with an opportunity to provide feedback on what those projects are. And we'll continue to share stories of ambassadors and their communities and what we're all learning as we develop this program to connect more people to each other and to connect more communities with clean energy resources. So please visit our website for information on this and our other programs and reach out to us at any time with your questions and ideas. Um, we really appreciate all the time you guys take to do that. So thank you so very much.